P-pop, 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 P-pop. K-pa-sa-sa-pa, say what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Now, people, I am kind of getting sick and tired of these poor, poor. Not the good ones, the corrupted ones. And in this case, I am speaking about a robbery case that was held in Hanover. The case came to a conclusion. So pretty much, a complainant was robbed of 800,000 $800, Jamaican dollars, over three quarter million Jamaican dollars. The Popo found the suspect, arrested the suspect. Suspect was charged. Case came to a conclusion. The judge order, the police, investigators, to turn over the money to the complainant, seeing that the case is closed and the money belongs to the complainant. However, since the judge did that, the complainant made several complaints to the court that, listen, I'll know me not get back me $800,000 yet when I contact the constable in charge of keeping said funds, evidence, he might give me a bagger run around. The judge contact the constable, same thing. So therefore, the judge went to the high command of the Popo JCF and they, he made an official report. It is said that this constable was summoned to go in front of the high command for its miss appropriation of funds, evident funds. However, people, until this date, the money has not been returned to the complainants. When them contact the constable that have the money in charge, the bookie, the banker, the constable said that he is on sick leave. The constable said that him have the money, however, he just did not get a chance to get to the funds as yet. So people, take a listen to what his lawyer has to say. His lawyer's name is Mr. Donovan Collins, and then I'll give my piece. My client walked voluntarily to high club yesterday afternoon. I accompanied him there and he was surprised that he was considered as a person who was being sought. And as such, he went to high club yesterday to spoke with the persons who are investigating a matter against him. Well, they're alleging that funds were misappropriated, but we are surprised because the, 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 the funds is still available, right? So we don't wonder what is happening, but we just wait and see and let the investigators do what they have to do and they will realize that perhaps the investigation might show them that the officer is innocent. Now people, whenever I speak about these lawyers in a Jamaica and the poor poor, some people get into them feelings. However, that is what I do. I blog about the wrongs that are carried out by people that we hold in high esteem. People that are sworn. People that are a part of a group that are supposed to be respectable, morals and ethically. However, we see a lot of these don't have any of this. And I understand that a lawyer's job is to defend his clients. However, based on what this lawyer is saying, yes, there were summons, and yes, him and his client made arrangement to show up. However, he must say the client surprise. The client knows say the case closed and the client have the money. However, the client is on sick leave. The client conveniently just did not get a chance to return the money. As the court ordered. Now people. We know so that is BS. Because the truth and the fact is that. If this is money that is supposed to be in evidence. This money has to have an official place. In which evidence for that court. For that police district. Is kept in a safe place. Lock and key. And somebody that is not a crook, 
Because people like I've always said, you can't use a wolf or the hyena to watch the chicken come. Something is going to go very, very wrong. And people, in this case, we see said, this constable has zero excuse. This constable is only making excuses because him realize that, listen, rotted the case done fast. And me don't have this money. Me take this money and me give me a tea. Me take this money, me pay a rent. Me take this money and me go on a royal town or some sort of dream weekend or whatever. Me not have the money because people, that is the only reason why the judge have to make an official order to make sure say, this complainant get back in money. Point blank and period. So people, here again, a next perfect example that some of these cops, they are just as criminal as the regular criminals out there. Point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news, people, Jamaica get away. Any and everybody can get it. You can work like a slave all your life. And then when you are supposed to retire. After you till the soil. After you farm for the whole of your life from a little youth. Somebody come and take you away. K-I-L-L-U for your own livestock. Now I am speaking about a man, 79 year old. His name is Mr. Linford Henry. Mr. Linford Henry is a farmer in a Clarendon. Mr. Linford Henry gets up every day. He goes to his field. He attends to his livestock, cow, goat, sheep, whatever it is. In this case, we are talking about some goats. Now, on Tuesday, the family members, including the nephew, they saw Mr. Linford Henry get up early a morning, crack a dawn in, in a water boat, climb up the hill, gone way, way up, up at the hill, go attend to his farm and his goats, his livestock. Tuesday night, them realize, wait, how am I come home yet? Wednesday morning, about 24 hours after that, the nephew and some neighbors attack. The nephew say, you know what, I'm not me. Whatever for how long and the neighbors say are true because him have a regular routine usually him go in the evening him come home and him get him dinner whatever the case is however them not find him so therefore them put out a search crew when the search crew went up there them find Mr. Henry lay down all sorts of wound all over him body especially in him head lie down in a pool of his own B L O O D. When them take a stock, upon the livestock, them realize eh, rotted X amount of goats and all of the ram goat them, what them call ram in the country, all of them missing, not even one left. So people, the family start surmise. Eh, yeah, tell me, say, this man, 79 year old, hard working man. Well respected man in the community. The man them actually take with the man for him own goat. And people, usually when you see stuff like this, it is usually somebody that you know. Somebody that is close to this man. Somebody that is close to the family. Somebody that even work for him. Because people, you have a big, big disease in Jamaica. It is called red eye. It is called Wanting people's stuff. So therefore, sometimes you're sorry for Marga Dog. Sometimes you hire some little youth. And then them go and them tell them friends. Say, you know, say, Mars Henry have X amount of goat. X amount of rammy. The rammy big like a horse. So therefore, you know, say, we can't use this rammy. And we can't go make manish water. We can't get curry goat. Or even better. Use the goat for breed. So people, Mr. Henry obviously don't have any sorts of use. Mr. Henry put in the hard work from a little youth till him a 79 past retirement age. However, because him not lazy and him and them, them no nook. Him go go till the soil. Him go go attend to him livestock. And then somebody take him away just for him own thing. 
people, you know, Sister Jamaica Town, upside down. And if you didn't, this is yet an ex perfect example. Point blank and period. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that dancehall artist Vice Cartel, him have a song called Hot Like Mexico. The girl, them love me so. Them a kiss off my lips like Pepsi so. Something like that. However, people, the next tour that I am going to speak about, it has to do with the Mexico gang. Now, people, I am speaking about an incident that has been happening in Gregory Park for the last couple of days, couple of weeks. It seems as if World War III pretty much broke out. People are packing up. It is a mass exodus. People are leaving the era of Gregory Park because people over the past couple of days, three hours get buckle bomb, then the next day eight, then the next day eleven. Based on the information, it is said that the poor poor acting on information yesterday, they went to Gregory Park. While they were there, poor poor and soldier military team, they came under fire by a group of gunmen. You know the script. The poor poor return F I R E. The man them run from Gregory Park, run through some bushes, end up upon Dykes Road. That is where the poor poor went, the military team, JCF and JDF went, and people, them can up after a couple of people. After the smoke clear, one person lost his life. The poor poor recovered six fire pieces, including four or five rifle, two assault rifle a M16 and also a AK-47 rounds of ammunition, magazine, rete, lele, blue, blah, blah. Now people, here's the thing. The Popo started to chase these men from Gregory Park and people, the man them take some bushes, end up in a Dykes Road, off Dykes Road. It is said that when they went to the spots and the shootout ensued, that is when they realize that, listen, this look like some sort of camping ground. This look like some sort of headquarter or some sort of hideout for the Mexico gang. Now, people, like I told you before at the start of this video, Vice Cartel has a song called Hot Like Mexico. Don't know if that is the name of the actual song. However, isn't it kind of ironic that the Popo are searching for a gang of men called the Mexico gang and people. These are the names of the persons that they are looking for. Wanted, Shane Williams, O.C., Gaza, Tucson. I know that there's an artist called Gaza, Tucson. Don't know if this is the same artist. They are also looking for a next man. His name is Teacher. Teacher affiliated with Gaza once again. So Gaza, Tucson, Teacher, Gaza, same thing. A next person, Munga, and last but not least, a person whose name is Big Red O.C. The Popo, they are asking these people, turn over yourself to the Popo as soon as possible and don't make we have to come for look for you because you know that when we come for look for you, it is going to be modern that is going to be booking for you. Point blank and period. 